This video is about rational function, linear over linear pattern. For rational function, f of x equals ax plus b over cx plus d. For the domain, we will make a denominator not equal to 0. Then we solve your x not equal to negative d over c. For the vertical asymptote line, x equals negative d over c. For the range, y not equal to the quotient of a coefficient of x. That is uh, A over C. Horizontal asymptote line, Y equals A over C. Root. For any function, we will set up F of X equals uh, 0, which means uh, AX plus B over CX plus D equals 0. We do know when a over b equals 0, which means uh, a equals 0. So we have uh, ax plus b equals 0. x equals negative b over a. For the intercept, f of uh, 0 equals a times 0 plus b over c times 0 plus d. So we have a b over d. Let me talk about horizontal asymptote line is uh, y equals a over c. We know for rational function, horizontal asymptote line, we will do the limit as x approaches the infinity of uh, ax plus b over cx plus d. That equals a over c. That's the reason why horizontal asymptote line y equals a over c. Question 1. Consider f of x equals 2 minus 12 over ax plus 3 passes through the point, negative 1, negative 10. Find A. Since this uh, rational function passes through the point, uh, negative 1, negative 10, this is x, this is y. We need to plug in to this uh, rational function. Negative 10 equals 2 minus 12. A times negative 1 plus 3. We need to isolate these uh, rational expressions first. So minus 2 both sides. It will get negative 12 equals negative 12 over negative a plus 3. Divided by negative 12 for both sides. You will get 1 equals 1 over negative a plus 3. Then cross multiply. Negative a plus 3 equals 1. Cross multiply. Negative a equals negative 2. Divide by negative 1. a equals 2. So we get this uh, rational function. f of x equals 2 minus 12 over 2x plus 3. For b, find the domain. For domain, we will make denominator 2x plus 3 not equal to 0. Solve x not equal to negative 3 over 2. For the range, we will use limit to figure this out. Limit as x approaches the infinity of 
two minus twelve, two x plus three. For this one, you will get zero. So we get this uh, equals two. Why it's not equal to two is the range. For the C, find the vertical asymptote line that equals x equals negative three over two. Look at the domain. So for horizontal asymptote line, y equals two. For D, find x intercept and v intercept. For this x intercept, we will set up f of x equals zero, which means uh, zero equals two minus 12 over two x plus three. Cross the river change sign, negative two equals negative 12 over two x plus three. Divided by negative two, both sides. You can get positive one equals six over two x plus three. Then over one cross multiply. You will get two x plus three equals six. Cross the river change sign, two x equals three. So x equals three over two. For v intercept, we will get f of zero equals two minus twelve over three. That equals negative two. So zero negative two will be the v intercept. For e, sketch the graph. When rational function has the pattern linear over linear, we only have uh, two types of uh, graph. Either the graph uh, like this, or the graph uh, like this. It will depend on the x-intercept and the v-intercept. Sketch the vertical and horizontal asymptote line. Y equals two is a horizontal asymptote line. For x equals uh, negative three over two, it will be here. Then for the x intercept, that is uh, three over two is here. For the v intercept, zero negative two is here. Now we can sketch the graph. The other part will be here. For question two, consider f of x equals bx plus six over x minus two passes through the point four seven, find b. Four seven, this is x, here is y. So for a part, we plug in seven equals b times 4 plus 6 over 4 minus 2. Simplify 4b plus 6 over 2. Then we cross multiply. You will get 14 equals 4b plus 6. So for b, minus six both sides, eight equals four b, divided by four, b equals two. So we get this uh, function, 
f of x equals 2x plus 6x minus 2. For the b domain, we will make the denominator not equal to 0. x minus 2 not equal to 0. x not equal to 2. For range, we will get limit as x approaches infinity of 2x plus 6 over x minus 2. That equals 2. So y not equal to 2 will be the range. For c, we're looking for vertical and horizontal asymptote line. Vertical asymptote line. From domain, we get x equals 2. For horizontal asymptote line, from range, we get y equals 2. Now let's go to D, find the x-intercept and a y-intercept. For x-intercept, we will make a numerator equals 0, 2x plus 6 equals 0. So x equals negative 3. For y-intercept, that f of 0 equals 6 over negative 2, that equals negative 3. So we have 0, negative 3. For E, sketch the graph. We will sketch x equals 2 first. This is a vertical asymptote line. For horizontal asymptote line, it's y equals 2. For x-intercept, that is a negative 3, 0. For y-intercept, 0, negative 3. It's here. Then we can sketch the graph. The other part of the graph will be here.